Let's talk about a couple of problems here on page M of chemistry page 1126. A couple of the problems I think are fairly easy, and if you follow the example in the video that I made about uh, using the magic triangle to solve molarity problems, um, hopefully 70 and 71 you found easy. 72 is a little more challenging. There's an extra step involved, so let's talk about that, all right? It says how many grams of potassium iodide are dissolved in water to form two liters of a 0.6 molar solution. So let's see what's given here. First of all, here's the magic triangle. You see that? And it says how many moles. So that's what we don't know. That's what's on the top. That's why that's blank. Then it says we're forming two liters of a solution. So the two liters goes in the bottom right hand corner. And then it tells us that we have a 0.6 molarity solution, 0.6 molar. So that 0.6 is what goes down here in the lower left hand corner, okay? So then to solve, because these two are side by side, we're going to multiply them together. And when we do that, <clears throat> notice we get 1.2 moles of the Ki. Then I'm going to let you do the last step on your own. It says how many grams, okay? So we found the answer in moles, and the thing that makes this problem just a little different than 7071 is we have to convert from moles into grams. I'll help you get it set up, and then I'm going to let you finish it. So we're going to do 1.2 moles times 166 grams per mole. And now uh, we see that because we take the mass of potassium plus the mass of iodine and add them together to get the 166. That's how many grams in each mole. And then you can just finish the problem and you will have the number of grams. All right, let's look at the next one. This one is called a think problem. It says when 293 grams of silver nitrate are dissolved in water to form a 0.5 molar solution, how many liters of solution are formed? So notice we are told the number of grams that we need to figure out how many moles that is. We know that we have a 0.5 molar solution, so that goes in the lower left corner, and we're asked to find how many liters of solution, okay? So the first thing we have to do is take the 293 grams and convert that into moles. So I looked these up on the periodic table. You should probably look at your table and just see where these numbers are coming from. The mass of silver, <clears throat> the mass of nitrogen, <clears throat> and then each oxygen is 16. So 16 times 3 is 48. And so that's how we get 169.8. <clears throat> seven five and then we're going to take the number of grams given and basically divide by the 169.875 and I already did that part of the math for you we get 1.724 moles okay and so that is going to go up here in the top I'm going to let you finish this problem now once we have figured out we've converted our grams into moles we put the moles up here in the top of our magic triangle, then we can divide. <clears throat> so whatever number is on the top, divided by one of the numbers on the bottom will give us the other number on the bottom. So the number of liters will be the answer to that problem. All right, hopefully uh, you can see how this magic triangle is really helpful and will help you solve these problems here as well as when you get to the checkup self-test, and these are on the PACE test. So always make sure you read the problem carefully, underline what's given, um, fill in the chart with what we know, and then uh, solve and make sure your final answer expresses what they're asking for, in this case, liters of solution.